Aaron Rodgers, of course, Green Bay Packers playing the Minnesota Vikings. No Lazard, hasn't practiced. I assume he's not going to be playing. And, you know, on the heels of what Aaron Rodgers said yesterday, which is, you know, everybody in the North has been claiming for years that this is the year that they're going to beat us. And he means for the division title, not just in one singular game. And with a wry smile, he said yesterday, just doesn't seem to be happening ever since I got here. I think the Packers are going to be in for a comeuppance, not year-long. I do think they're probably going to still win the division. But I think the Minnesota Vikings are going to lay a beat down on the Green Bay Packers. I, I think they're going to score more than 30 points. Ooh. And I think Aaron Rodgers is going to have to answer the question, how do you like me now from the Purple People Eaters? Aren't you concerned that the Vikings have a brand new staff, an unproven coaching staff? No, that doesn't concern me at all. Because it's not like they, you know, went down the street looking for random people to coach them. These are still guys who have coached. These are guys who have been in football. And I just think when you start, the Vikings are a sneaky team for me because their offense is loaded. Yes. Like, there's no reason why that offense doesn't score, you know, 30 points frequently. Well, Cousins is the reason. Cousins is an underappreciated quarterback. Underappreciated. Yeah. He, look, he's not Aaron Rodgers. He's not Tom Brady. Blah, 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 blah. But he's not, a, he's not my quarterback. You're, right? He's not Daniel Jones. He's not Davis fair, Webb. Fair. He's not Tua. Like, he's a competent quarterback who can't, who's got a rifle. And I just think the Minnesota Vikings offense is going to be a load to deal with. And, I can't, and part of it, to be honest, I want it to happen. Uh-huh. I want Aaron Rodgers to take a little beating yeah. early in the season just to see how he reacts because I've already scripted what the conversation is going to be when that happens. Man, my receivers. <laughs> my receivers don't know their routes. You know, I can't catch the ball too, right? And there's a big part of me that wants that to happen, and I okay. do think it's going to happen uh, this weekend. I can't wait for it. So is the bludgeoning because you want it to happen, or is it a bludgeoning because you actually think it's going to happen? Both, both. Like, I'm a football expert. That's why I'm hosting this show. <laughs> <laughs> or no, no maybe comment. just because I'm handsome. <laughs> I no. don't know what it is. But, no, listen, you know, the Vi- no, one, no one's considering the Vikings right now. And when you take stock of Green Bay, in the last – I don't want to over-exaggerate it, but – would it be fair for me to say in the last decade of Aaron Rodgers' career, this is the most questionable offense he's going to helm? Is that fair oh, to say? Wide receiver and offensive line, yes. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not speaking out of school. I know Packer fans don't want to hear it. Aaron doesn't want to hear it. But the reality is their offense is a question mark outside of him. And he's good enough to make the average wide receiver great. So I'm not taking anything away from his ability to bring everybody up to his level. But more than any other year that I can remember, the Green Bay Packer offense is a question mark. Now, maybe it's going to be great. Maybe Aaron Rodgers is that good, and everyone's a rock star, and everyone's got 1,000-yard seasons, and nobody even remembers that Devontae Adams isn't there. But it's a question mark. The line is a question mark. And I've got an offense that's, you know, licking the bones right now. They can't wait to get on the field. And they're going to be as good as any offense in football, at least the way I see it. It it probably is the first time in this matchup in forever, as you mentioned, where the Vikings offense is just better right now. They're healthier and they have have better players, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of the Packers, former Packer, Greg Jennings, sat right here where Jeff is right now. And, you know, when we get things wrong, people call attention to it. Yes. And they make fun of us. So, (laughs) as an amazing coworker and colleague, when a guy gets something right, and we've had a pretty good week thus far of getting things right, let's acknowledge that. Greg Jennings sat here. I asked him a question about who would be a breakout star at wide receiver. Listen to what Greg said. There's one more guy Go. at receiver that we watch, Gabe Davis. How about that? Gabe Davis. Now, here's what's funny, and just to keep it clean with everyone, and you'll be as transparent as possible. When Greg Jennings yesterday said, Gabe Davis, yeah. in my head I said, who? <laughs> <laughs> 
He has 10 touchdowns in his last 33 catches. It's like all that guy does is score touchdowns, yeah. right? So great job, Greg Jennings. And you'll be hearing a lot more from Greg, not only on this show, but on all the shows here on FS1. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1. So check them out too.